I got a whole stack of wood in my hallway. And this is about 5 16 thick. And it's got a, a tongue and groove on it. And I'm going to turn it all into wainscoting and put it up. Wainscoting? Wainscoting? And it's going up on this wall and everywhere we've got windows. So it's been sitting here for a while. I think it's climatized. We'll bring it out to the shop and cut it to length. So I just clamped a board onto there and made me a little stop. And seeing as my wainscot comes at a nominal 8 foot length, 32 inches will give me three pieces out of each one. So now we've got three times as many pieces of wood. Cut to length, stack back up where it was, and I think I've deserved a cookie. Homemade ginger snaps. Well, the trim is off the window again, and so is the wallpaper. I guess before we do wainscoting, there's one more project to do. This is the wife's baby. Oh, she's got some crack fillers started. So it should be an interesting little project. The wainscot's all there. And uh, there's a hint of what to come. Not the fingernails. So the next step she's doing, after we get the wallpaper stripped, is putting some wallpaper glue up there. And then, burlap. Tree wrap. Tree wrap? Tree wrap burlap. Okay. And I think these oh, thick seams she's going to be cutting out. Immediately. Right away. Um, I guess the idea is to make a textured wall. And they'll be wainscoting underneath it eventually. Got all the, uh, what do you call it? Burlap. All the burlap up. And she didn't take out all the big seam pieces and that. I said it's going to be a textured wall, and it's all put up with wallpaper paste. And the bottom is left for the wainscot. A little bit of cutting in. Doesn't have to be too close because there's trim. And uh, it really sucks up the paint. Not too bad.
these things are so cheesy. Yes, the power is off. kinds of wires on this one. See, they just have little tangs that bite into the wire. So here's the best electrical hints and tips that you'll ever see on YouTube. If you don't have a working knowledge, don't touch it. Call an electrician. If you have to rely on some random guy from YouTube telling you how to wire things, don't touch it. Call an electrician. This can put an awful lot of dead into you. So don't mess around with it. It isn't worth it. Call an electrician. Pay him a few bucks. He went to school to learn how to do it. There we go. One working plug. That plate will have to come off when we do the finishing, so... But, we can now carry on. Uh, some harsh shadows by the work light, but we got the wainscoting in and two plugs wired and that's starting to look a little bit better against the pine. The wainscot is not done yet. It's not finished. It's got to have the varathane put on it and it needs the uh, skirting boards or baseboards and the top rail put on yet.
Well there, it's all done. The bedroom, the chair rail, coped into the windowsill, and I later started cutting that at a 45 degree angle and that gave me the profile to cut out. It was a bit easier. Then we go out into the hallway where we've got our new textured walls. Just make sure the focus keeps up with me. Again, the chair rail, the baseboard, just plain. And the color we selected for the wall, well actually I should say the wife selected for the wall, comes from her penchant for blue glass. More specifically cobalt blue. Uh, she's got quite a bit of it. Uh, a little dark in there, but you can see. She likes a cobalt blue glass. And uh, the orchids seem to like the window sills too. They're coming along nicely. <clears throat> Wainscoting. Fresh coat of paint on the walls. Pretty close to the same color to what they were. And if you've noticed before, the TV and the big dresser used to sit there. And they're now over here. And the reason being is we ordered a big stinking sectional couch and it will fill that whole wall and it will come over 12 feet on that wall and that is huge and that's what she said so there we go all completed long job but we're pretty happy with it and the little bears seem to like it too thanks for dropping by Hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, share it around.